ביאו משנה ג', explanation for משנה ג'. החל במשנה זו, the beginning from this משנה, ועד סוף פרקנו, until the end of chapter י' ב'. דנו המשניות וכותב שתי אותיות. We're going to deal with writing two letters. So we, we already discussed this, that the, the minimum measurement for, um, for writing is two letters. Okay. One letter is not enough. Two letters. שנמנה לעיל, we already explained, בין אבות המלאכות. הכותב שתי אותיות בשבת. Somebody who writes two letters on Shabbat. בין בימינו, בין בשמאלו. You, go, you don't have a problem with this, are you? Huh? It's a shinoi. So, you have a problem. You don't like this Mishnah. Why? Because now it says something else what we learned. We learned if it's a Shinoi. Shinoi is okay. Kid. Not okay. It's uh, not okay, but, but it's it, Patu. It's Patu, that's right. And over here, it, it, it yeah, looks like he's going to say right. Chayav. Yeah. yeah, we don't know yet, but it's going to say that. So we have to, we, we have to figure it out. בגמרא מבואר, in the Gemara it explains, שמדובר כאן באדם השולט בשתי ידיו. We are talking about over here, the reason why it says right hand or left hand, it's somebody who is able to write with both hands. ואילו בשאר כל אדם, but in any other person, כתיבתו ביד שמאל אינה כתיבה ואין חייב עליה. So if, in, if you're a regular person that you only write with your right hand and you write with your left hand, then don't do it, but if you did it, it's with Shinu, it's with a change, and you're not obligated from the Torah. בן משם אחד, whether you wrote one letter, שכתב אותה אות פעמיים, כגון א' א', או ב' ב', for example, he wrote two A's or two B's, ויש מפרשים כמו כגון, the Arsam says that if you wrote א' א', yeah, you're not obligated. The reason why you're not obligated if you wrote א', א', because it doesn't mean anything. There's no meaning for it. But you only will be obligated if you write two letters that has some meaning behind. So for example, you'll be, ab- you'll be obligated if you wrote Gimel Gimel, God. because it's God, or Dale Dale, because it's Dad. But Aleph Aleph, some say you're not obligated because there's no meaning. And you need to write two letters. You only wrote one letter twice. And it doesn't have a meaning. Kigon Gag, Dad, or Shesh, for example. כלומר ששתי האותיות הן תיבה שלמה, it needs to be a whole word. The reason why it, is, it, it, it tells you, you need two אותיות, because a word, the, the least amount of letters you can write a word is, is two letters. Ah. That's why you're obligated in two. Over here you didn't write a word, so you're not obligated, according to some opinion. Some opinion says, no, 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 I don't care. You wrote two letters. I don't care, same, different, whatever, has a meaning, doesn't have a meaning, you're obligated. Ayen Tosfot, Rabbi Akiva Iger, v'chen pasek ha-Rambam. And this is about the way the Rambam writes, that it needs to have a meaning. If it doesn't have a meaning, you're not obligated. Ben mishtei shemot. Whether you, you, you write it from two alephs or two different letters. Shtei otiyot shenot kegon av or bag. אפילו אינם תיבה, even, oh, so over here it's like this, it, 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 they don't make up a word. Uh-huh. So over here, if you wrote, yeah, if you wrote אלף אלף, there's a מחלוקת whether you're obligated. Okay. Some say you're obligated, some say you're not obligated. But if you wrote אלף גימל, which means nothing, everybody says you're obligated, even though it doesn't have a meaning. So how is it? Aleph, Aleph don't have a meaning. That's right. Because it's the same letter. Uh-huh. But Aleph, Gimel, it's two different letters that everybody says you're going to be obligated on that. Okay? There's no machloket in Aleph, Gimel. Even though it doesn't have a meaning, like Aleph, Aleph, you're still obligated. Some say Aleph, Aleph, you're also obligated. Yeah. But at least there's a machloket over there. Ben Mishnei Sememeniyot. Whether you use two inks even, you can use one blue ink from this one and then take the green ink. Yeah? You did one in ink and another in a different kind of ink. 
ויש גורסים בין משני סימניות, כלומר שני סימנים כגון שתי ספרות. And some say you did um, two... So some say it doesn't even have to be letters. So, so, so first of all, you obligated any language, right? A, B, doesn't matter if you write in uh, Arabic, I don't care what. But besides that, some, some people say, what about if you didn't write a letter? You wrote a sign, whatever it was. It says, I don't care. You're also obligated. Signs are also emojis. I don't care. Or numbers. Or numbers. That's the example he gives. Okay. Or numbers. So it doesn't matter what. You, you made a sign. You did something. It's called writing. Don't tell me nobody uses it. I don't care if nobody uses it. If there's two, and they're different. Because according to what, some opinions, if they're the same, maybe you're not obligated. Bechol lashon, in any language, bechtav shel kol uma, in any language, chayav, you're obligated. Bechogeg chatat, if you did it by mistake, you've been sinnafering. Ubemezit mita, if you did it on purpose, you're obligated death penalty. Amar Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi says, Lo chivush teotiyot, ela mishum roshem. It says, Rabbi Yossi, where did they learn these two letters? It says, I'll tell you where they learned it. They learned it from the Mishkan, they learned it from the tabernacle. Where did they write in the tabernacle? Rabbi Yossi sover, שאפילו לא כתב אותיות, אלא רשם שתי רשמים סתם. רבי יוסי thinks, I don't care, you made a small dot. A dot here or a circle there, I don't care what. הרי הוא חייב, you're obligated. So why? שכן היו, שכך היו כותבים על קרשי המשכן. It says they used to put up the tabernacle every night. Right? And they wanted, because you, you know, the beams, Every, every, every time they came, to, they traveled, and they, they used yeah, to build, they build. They build the tabernacle. Yeah. So every time they built it, they, they had to put it up. And they wanted to put it up in such a way that it's the same way it was last time. So what did they do? On the beams, they made simanim, oh, aleph. They wrote aleph over one. here, aleph over here. And they know this aleph goes together with aleph. Bet over here, bet over here. This bet goes together with this bet. Like Exactly, exactly so like they do it yourself. Exactly. That's right, exactly it's like that. Way. Because why? Because the beams get, you know, a little bit uh, yeah. of an angle. And you want it there and you want it to stay there. That's right. Hu'il v'ayu mefarkim et ha-mishkan mechamat ha-masaot shom midbar. They used to take apart the tabernacle because they used to travel in the desert. Hayu rushmim siman ala krashim. They used to make sure that they know which beam goes where. לידה איזה הוא בן זוגו, to go which pair goes together, שלא יתחלף להם סדר הקרשים בהקמת המשכן, so that the beams are going to be in the same place when they erect the tabernacle, בשעת חנייתם, at the time that they are camping. והרי למדים מלאכות שבת ממלאכת המשכן, and we're learning the laws of Shabbat from the laws of the Mishkan. הרמב״ם מפרש, the Rambam writes, שדעת רבי יוסי, הרושם הוא אב מלאכה בפני עצמו. According to Rabbi Yossi, there's two things. There's Roshem and Kotev. Two different things. And Roshem is... Roshem means any, any mark. Any mark. You're marking it for them. Roshem. You make a mark... Two that here and two that here is a Roshem. Or, or, or let's take an example where, um, according to the first opinion, not Rabbi Yossi, you're not going to be obligated. You put on the wall a place that you want to hang a picture. So you put an... Over here one and over, here, over there one. You, you put two marks. According to Rabbi Yossi, you're going to be obligated. According to the Tanakama, what do you want from me? I'm not obligated. I'm not, that's the difference. Okay. It's not Kotev. Harama Mefaresh, Aroshim Ravin Lachaf Natsan, Vakotev Shteot Yot Bilvad. It says if you write two letters by themselves, Eino Chayav Ela Mishum Roshem. He says he's only obligated because of Roshem, but not, maybe if he doesn't have a meaning, he's not going to be obligated because of Kotev. Only if they have a meaning, I'm going to make you obligated because of Kotev, because of writing. And, and that consider Roshem, until, until he doesn't have a meaning. That's right. 
ברם ההלכה היא שהרושם תולדת הכותב הוא. But the halacha is not like that, that רושם is an offspring of the code. זה גם חייב. אמר רבי, רבי said, ויש דורסים אמר רבי יהודה, אז according to some opinion in רבי יהודה said, מצינו שם קטן משם גדול. We find a small name from a big name. What does it mean? שחלק משם גדול הוא שם בפני עצמו. That a part of a big name is... Daniel can be Dan. Very good. Very good. No? It's, so it, I'm going to say my intention was to write Daniel. And I only wrote Dan. Am I obligated now to bring a, a sacrifice? What, 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 I intended to write Daniel. I didn't intend to write Dan. The ink finished. I was going to write Daniel. But still, a chok evers that when one should do two letters, but you, but you need intention. Here I didn't know that you need intention. In all Malachet Shabbat, you need intention, right? That's the question. In all the works of Shabbat, you need... Over here, you had the intention to... To write Daniel and you wrote Dan. Oh. Because it is. So now... Maybe you're not obligated. It's a good question. That's right. מצינו שם קטן משם גדול. אוקיי, כגון שם משימון. For example, somebody wrote שין מם, he intended to write שימון. ושמואל, שם from שמואל. נוח מנחור, you want to write נחור, and you wrote נוח. דן מדניאל, גד מגדיאל, for example. טען הזה בא להשמיענו, this טען הקים to teach us, שאם נתכוון אדם לכתוב שימון, you had the intention to write the whole name, שימון. או נכור, you had the intention to write the whole name, נכור, וכיוצא בזה, ולא כתב אלא חלק ממנו, you only, the ink was finished, you had the intention to write the whole thing, there was no ink, and you only wrote כגון שתי האותיות הראשונות, שם או נוח, you only wrote the two first letters, וכדומה, אף על פי שלא נעשתה מחשבתו, even though you didn't do what you intended, הואיל ואותם שתי האותיות שכתב הם שם בפני עצמו, since they have a meaning, You're obligated, but if they don't have any meaning, if you wrote, for example, Arye, Aleph Reish, you're good, because this has no meaning. You wrote Ram, you're in trouble. It has a meaning. You wrote Chana, you're in trouble. Chen has a meaning. You, but if it doesn't have a meaning, Harei ze nechshav kemelecha chayav, vechayav mishum kotev. Even though you didn't do your intention, you knew that the... It's like almost inherently you know that part of the name is already a name. So when you want to write Daniel, you want it to write Dan and then Kel. Okay. It's like, don't tell me you wanted to write the whole thing. You wanted to write Dan and Kel. You wanted to, it's like saying, I wanted to kill two people, not just one person. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. You wanted to, to if it's not a name, then I cannot... If it's a name, then you are If you want, if you had the intention to write the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not only the two letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you only had the two letters, you're in trouble already. Yeah. But if you had the intention to write the whole thing, and but you wrote a name, you're in trouble. If it wasn't a name, you're still good. Yes, okay. Mefarshim, <laughs> there are those who explains, Sherabi Yehuda, בקן לחלוק על תנא קמא. Some say that he come to actually argue with our תנא קמא. שלדע תנא קמא כותב שני אותיות שונות אפילו אינם טבעה של מערי הוא חייב. That according to תנא קמא if you wrote two different letters if they're not a whole world this obligated. ורבי יהודה סובר שאינו חייב אלא אם כן כתב שתי האותיות של טבעה שלמה. רבי יהודה says it's only obligated when you wrote two letters that mean something. ואפילו התכוון לכתוב תיבה גדולה ולא כתב הנה לשתי אותיות שם, שם בפני עצמו. Even if you want to write the whole world, then you only want two, two letters, חייב. אבל בשתי אותיות שאינן תיבת ש... שלמה, פטור. ברמה, ההלכה היא, the halacha is like we learned it, much better way to learn it, I think, yeah? שהכותב שתי אותיות שונות, אפילו אינן תיבה, הרי הוא חייב. If you had the intention to write two letters, I don't care how you already obligated. Let, our way, as I think, is, is nicer. I don't know if it's better, 
but it's nicer than this, and this is also the halacha. So we'll go with that kind of understanding.